Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'm going to compare and contrast two popular combination pliers. One's made by Klein, one's made by Milwaukee. This one is called the Klein Curve Heavy Duty Wire Stripper and Crimper, and its model number is K12065CR. And this one right here is called the 7 in 1 High Leverage Combination Plier and it is 48223078. And the reason I am comparing these two is that viewers have written in and asked for this video. They want to see the differences. They're thinking they're going to buy one of these. They like the idea of a combination plier where there's a number of functions on one pair of pliers and said, so which one is the best? Let's see the differences. Let's see the similarities. Let's see what's going on. Let's see them in use. Okay, so one thing you're gonna see right away is that the Milwaukee is longer. The Milwaukee is nine inches in length, while the Klein is just a touch over eight inches in length. So this one's almost a full inch longer. Now that's gonna give you more leverage when you're cutting cables and so forth. Those longer handles are gonna give you more leverage. The shorter handles, are going to be quicker and perhaps faster to use but this will give you more leverage the milwaukee is weighing in at 12.25 ounces while the klein is weighing in at 10.95 ounces both of these pliers have from 8 solid to 18 solid cutting holes or 10 stranded to 20 gauge stranded. It's the same thing for the Klein, 8 to 18 and 10 to 20. And then the Milwaukee has 832 bolt cutter, 632 bolt cutter, and the Klein has 632 bolt cutter and 832 bolt cutters. So they both have that function. And Milwaukee uh, claims to have a looper right here. But while Klein has holes that's similar to Milwaukee, they don't claim to, that these are loopers. The Milwaukee has a latch. See right here, the Milwaukee has a latch. The Klein does not. The Milwaukee is spring-loaded, while the Klein is not spring-loaded. Both tools have crimpers. So this is the crimper right here uh, for the Milwaukee, and this is the crimper for the Klein. Now for people looking for pliers that are just right for them, these are big differences. When you have a spring versus not having a spring, there's people that just hate springs. There's people that love springs. So that's a personal preference. A very big difference between these pliers is in the cutters. While the cutters are about the same length, these are, these are the shear type cutters. Let me show you. These are a bypass shearing type cutter right here and we're going to be trying these out here in a moment these are your more standard cutter notice the Klein has a considerably bigger nose and you also you see the beveling on the Milwaukee versus uh, there's more kind of straight edges on the Klein and that's for reaming both of these tools that would be the Milwaukee on the left and the Klein on the right can be used as reamers. They might not be really good reamers, but they're reamers. You can ream out EMT conduit with them. Both of these pliers have very nice knurling on the pliers portion. This is the Klein right here. And this is the Milwaukee right here. Okay, let's strip some wire. This is number 20 stranded wire. So we're going to use the whole right here where it says 20 on the stranded so just put it right in there and strip it oops now this is something i don't like this thing caught i i didn't think it was going to catch i don't like these latches catching perhaps i didn't have it in the right position but it that's uh that's why some people don't like latches on their tools so anyway, we'll cut that and try it again. Okay. 
Well, it did it again. This darn last caught again. I hate that. Well, put, I know I had it all the way back that time. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this and put it on number 20. Strip it, cut it. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this now. Strip it. Okay, these are very nice for working with 20 gauge wire. Let's try out the clients. Okay, so there's no latch, there's no spring. So both of these pliers handle the number 20 gauge wire very nicely. Here's some uh, 14 gauge right here. And let's go with the Milwaukee. Cut these. And 14 gauge solids right here. All right, these are really nice. These work really nicely. Okay, 14 gauge solid for the Klein Quick Curves. Uh, okay, it's right here, 14, right there. All right, they're both, they're both very nice and very nice to work with for 14 gauge. Uh, let's try the loopers. Now, the Milwaukee has one right here that says looper. There. Okay, so we got a loop. It's a kind of a big loop because it's, it's a big area. It's a big, thick area here. Let's try the clines. Make this a little longer. Okay, let's try the looper right here. Well, this one loops just as good. The clients don't say they have a looper, but really the 632 hole works just as well on the clients as on the Milwaukee. Okay, on to 10 gauge wire. Okay, these are working very nicely for 10 gauge. And let's try it with the Kleins. The Milwaukee's may have a little advantage with these bigger uh, the 8 and 10 gauge solid wires because of the longer handles, gives you a little more leverage. You see how it cuts it? it? Makes a different sound, but it cuts it quite well. Okay, here's 10 gauge. All right, these do a very nice job as well. So, so both of these pliers work great with 10 gauge wire. So this is 12 tooth ground metal clad cable. So let's see which pliers can cut this. So here we go, put those right in there. All right, the Milwaukee's can cut the MC cable. Let's try it with a Klein. All right, it cut it. It was a little harder to do, but it did cut the MC cable. And the bypass will make a little cleaner cut for the bigger cables. In fact, let's try this cable here. So this is a 10-3 width ground cable. We'll put the Milwaukee in there. And here we go, 10-3 with ground. 
All right, it cut it. And let's see about the climb here. All right, 10-3 with ground for the climb. <clears throat> Get in there straight, that'll help. 10-3 with ground for the climb. It really can't do it. Okay, so the Milwaukee can cut uh, larger cables pretty easily, while the Klein cannot cut this particular cable. Give it a couple ground wires, give it some twist with the Milwaukee's. I'll put a crimper on there and give it a nice crimp. Cut off the excess. So that's what the crimp looks like with the Milwaukee. Okay, here's the clients. We're gonna give these a twist. You have a larger area with which to twist. I think it's a lot easier to twist wires with the clients. That's really what I'm feeling. And then we'll put the crimper on here, put it right there, and give it a good crimp. Ooh, this is a better crimper. Look at the difference. See the dimple that's put in here? You see there's a very noticeable difference in the crimps. But this is the Klein crimp right here. I think it does a better job for regular household type wiring for the crimps. This is the crimp with the Milwaukee. Okay, let's try cutting wall plate screws. These are 632. First thing you gotta do is line up the holes. See that's not lined up, that's not lined up. You gotta line them up just like that. So you take them and you screw them right in here. All right, so that'll cut off about a quarter of an inch, looks like. Yeah, it cut off about a quarter of an inch, and then you just unscrew it, that cleans out the threads. Okay, here's the Milwaukee. There's a 632 looper, you line up the holes. Okay, you wanna cut off about a quarter of an inch. That should be about a quarter of an inch, you cut it. And uh, there you go. The Milwaukee has a nice safety advantage here with the lanyard holes so that you can hook them up at, when you're working at height so that you don't drop them on people underneath you. You see the clients don't have lanyard holes. Okay, let's try the pliers as reamers. Here's half inch EMT, put it in there. It's the Klein. All right, it, it works all right. And here's the three quarter inch. Okay, here's the one inch. Okay, so here's the Milwaukee, half inch. I think the Milwaukee is a little smoother as a reamer. It's got these beveled ev edges all the way around for greater contact, and it's just, it just works a little more smoothly as our reamer. Okay, here's three quarter inch. That's definitely a lot, a lot smoother. And the one inch. Okay, my conclusion is the Milwaukee is a much better reamer than the Klein, as a conclusion. Okay, I like the plier heads better on the clients by far. They're bigger, they're easier to work with, they grab better. These are smaller, you might like that because they're smaller, but they're not as good for twisting wires. You get down to the strippers. I got the strippers at a dead heat, they're tied. They both work great through the whole uh, series of holes. Both of them have six holes, they both do the same range. I have the Milwaukee cutters rated above the Klein cutters. Even for 20 gauge, which was a big surprise to me. For the 20 gauge stranded, I thought that the Klein would cut those better, but actually the Milwaukee did. And the Milwaukee cut the MC cable. It cut that 10-3 with ground cable. For the screw cutters, I got that at a tie. For the crimpers, I gotta give that to Klein. Klein has the better crimper. That just works, see? That's a lot better crimp. That's a, 
that's a more professional crimp there, I think, for household wiring. Now we got spring versus no spring. That's a personal preference for you. I'll take no spring all day long, but uh, some people really like the spring, and so that's uh, that's going to be up to you there. Now latch versus no latch. I don't like latches, but some people really like latches, and uh, that's going to be a personal preference for you. So I would give that to Klein because I don't like latches. So the handles, Milwaukee has a longer handles, which will give you more leverage, but Klein has better handles. Look, they're thicker. They feel better in your hand, they're ergonomic. There is one problem with this ergonomic, you might pick them up backwards and then you gotta flip them around. <laughs> you know, but once you got them in your hand, that feel really good. That's really nice, it is ergonomic. And here's a big difference. It says right here, made in USA. This is made in Taiwan, this is made in USA. Taiwan, USA. And uh, for a reamer, the Milwaukee wins. It's, they got a better design for the reamer. You got beveled edges, so it works more smoothly. I don't think either one of these are all that great of a reamer. But if you have to use pliers as a reamer, the Milwaukee's a lot better. As far as price, I've just checked, and these are currently 30 bucks, and these are currently $37. So the clients are gonna cost you a little more. And so let me know in the comments section which pliers you like the best and we'll do a little voting tabulation and see if we can figure out which ones are the most popular so these are brand new on the market these have been on the market for less than a year they're both very recent designs they're both excellent pliers there's a lot of similarities there's a lot of differences so let me know what you think thanks i hope this video was helpful I'll put links in my video description for both sets of pliers.